Hey guys, I'm sure it's no big secret, but today I'm going to talk to you about the Titan ASV-1 Unity Power System. First of all, what the heck does that mean? Well, the ASV-1 stands for Air System Vessel, and the one means single shot. And that's pretty much the main portion of this Unity Power System. What does Unity Power System mean? Well, this is three blasters in one. You can pretty much be a one-man arsenal with this blast. I'll show them to y'all together first, and then we'll do some individual shots. But basically, it is composed of the Titan, which comes with the Mega Missile. You got the Scout, and the cool thing about the Titan is that it has a reverse tactical rail. Reverse tactical rail means you can put stuff on it backwards, so this thing can hold you know any smaller gun. And finally. You got this thing, which is called the Hornet. Pretty cool little gun to have. This is not your ordinary unboxing or anything like that. Um, this is a older blaster. I think it first came out in 2006. But this just happens to be my favorite blaster. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about it today. I'm just going to do a couple comparisons. We're going to see how versatile the blaster is. And we're going to compare the darts versus the mega missile and see if one shoots harder than the other. Um, obviously, there's going to be different situations you're going to want to use this in. And we'll just talk a little bit about the blaster and see how it works. Hey okay, guys, we're going to do a couple of tests with the Nerf Titan. And Spider Man is going to be our test subject. I'm Spider Man. First of all, I want to test it all together and then we'll test, it, test the components of it separately. Um, but first, let's see how it all works together. You're supposed to pump up this missile launcher part of it, just like a, a bicycle pump has a gauge on it, you can see that. This gauge right here tells you whether the Titan is primed and ready to go or if it's a low pressure system. Remember the Titan is an air system vessel, so you have to make sure that the pressure in this is high and it's easy to see from this gauge. So you just put it down like this. Okay, this one's ready to go. And the Hornet, you have to prime before you pump it up. It's got these little dots along the, the priming mechanism. And if you can see, this orange dot tells you which dart is primed and ready to go. And you pump this one up about 20 times. Okay, that's ready to go. And finally, we got our Scout. I want to make sure that that's ready to go also. Now all of these components can be fired simultaneously. They can be fired separately. And you can even take them apart and use them as separate weapons. Right now it's in the Unity Power System mode. And we're going to test just the darts first and see what effect it has on Spider-Man. Then we're going to test the Mega Missile and see if that has any different effects. By different, I mean we're just going to see if it's more powerful. So darts first, and I'm going to fire a cluster of six darts. Another cool thing about the Titan, here's a simulated sights, pretty cool. Okay, so as you can see, a couple of my darts stayed in here, there's a trick to that. I'll show you when we disconnect the Hornet from the Titan, how you can alleviate this from happening. Next, we're going to test the missile. As you can see, that missile is a lot more powerful than those darts. And if you're still not done with this thing, you are a one-man assassination crew. And there's a little button on the side right here. You can also fire the Scout. Okay, so we've seen what the Titan can do. There's not much else that I can show you about that. You got some attachments on the bottom of the Titan. If you wanted to attach a bandolier, you could. But it does disconnect. First of all, I can disconnect the Hornet just by kind of pulling it sideways, disconnecting all of it together. It just breaks apart. Now, I showed you before how a couple of the darts got stuck in there. You can actually make that stop happening, especially if your darts are old. You can either buy new darts or you can take individual darts. And if they don't fit just right, 
you can take something and sort of stick in there. I just like to use my finger and just make that opening just a little bit thicker. It's sort of like picking your nose. And those will fit in there pretty tight. Once you get those loaded up, remember, you want to prime this, make sure the orange dot is at the front so that it starts with the top dart first and it works its way down to the bottom darts. And again, one of the consequences of that is that you lose air pressure along the way. But let's see what happens. Now, you can do one of two things. You can pull the trigger here, or you can use this button here when it shoots all the darts at one time. But we're going to do an individual shot. We've already shot all the darts at one time. Now, the Titan hooks in there and presses on that, which causes all the darts to shoot at one time. Also, same thing as this. This is single shots. Again, I got one dart left over. So you can try to alleviate that by making them thicker, making them stick a little bit better. And then you can break the scout down. And an important thing about this Titan is it has a reverse tactical rail assembly on it so that you can, you can attach other weapons to it. Like that. And as you can see on the scout, as you can see on the scout, there's a little dot here that marries into this little orange dot here and causes the scout to fire when you push the trigger on the other side of the tie. Right now we're just going to use it as a single whip. And we got one extra shot in our storage, so we can use that. Ready to go. So you see the Titan is easily a one-man assassination machine. I know there's a lot of videos out there about the Titan, but I hope that you know, gave you some more information. It's my favorite blaster, so I just wanted to highlight it now. Hope you liked it. Like us, comment, and subscribe below. Thanks, guys. Hey. And we got one extra shot in our storage. We can use that.